Now, it's how you feel about a variety of things. Let me give you that list. Number one, it's how you feel about the past. Now, when you're young, you haven't got that much past to feel about, but I'm sure you've had some ups and downs. You've had some wins and losses. So part of our attitude is based on how we feel about the past. Some people are still carrying the burdens of the past. They're affected by some difficulties, some losses, whatever. They're carrying it around like a burden. Instead of using the past as a school, uh, they're using it as a threat to their life. So part of it is solving the attitude about the past and how you feel about it. Number two, it's how you feel about the future. Facing the future, very important, key part of our life. Now there's two ways to face the future, here they are. One, anticipation. It's one way to face the future, anticipation. Here's the other way, apprehension. Now most people face the future with apprehension, primarily because they bought somebody else's view. They don't have their own future well designed. So in the absence of having your own future well designed, you have a tendency to be persuaded to buy somebody else's future. Here's what's gonna happen, here's what's gonna happen. Boy, it's easy to let your days be clouded by all of that. So some days, somewhere along the line, you've got to start settling for sure how you feel about the future. And how you feel about it greatly determines what you do. If you don't feel good about the future by having goals set, you take what we call uncertain steps. It's difficult to be confident about the day if you don't have your future well designed. So here's one of the keys to do about your future. Set goals, write them down, design the future. Where do you wanna go? What do you wanna do? What do you wanna be? What do you wanna see? What do you wanna have? What do you wanna share? Even if it all changes 12 months from now, the key is to start making a list now. The cities you wanna visit, the people you'd like to meet your health goals, your investment goals, all that stuff, start writing it, putting it in a journal somewhere. And let it all change as time unfolds. Something that you think is very important right now, two years from now, you'll say, that was kind of foolish. How come I thought that was so important, right? Because you'll grow beyond that. But right now, it's important to get as clear a picture of you can, as you can of the future. Set your dreams, set your goals. Because it's important, how the day goes is greatly determined by your confidence about the future. Now here's another attitude. It's how you feel about each other. It's how you feel about society, the community, or the country. It's very important. It's not that difficult to be a cynic. And cynicism greatly influences how your life is. But it's also important to understand that if you want to do well, it takes all of us to help each of us. Good phrase. It takes all of us to help each of us do well. You can't succeed by yourself. It's hard to find a rich hermit. You can't succeed by yourself. You need a market. You need a society. We need each other's ideas. We need each other's collective ideas. Collective participation in the marketplace, society. Okay. So how we feel about each other, very important. Now here's the big one. It's how you feel about yourself. How you feel about yourself. Self-esteem understanding your own value. Boy, if new discovery starts to unfold for you, that you've got the brains, you've got the talent, all you need is instruction, all you need is some coaching, all you need is some help, all you need is some advice, some experience. If you're headed down the wrong road, hopefully somebody's already been down that road where the bridge is out. And they come back saying, don't go this way anymore, the bridge is out. So we take somebody else's advice and we say, wow, I'm glad you came along. I'm heading down this road. So learning from other people's experiences, picking up all the ideas so that we can feel good about ourselves. Now, self-esteem primarily becomes from, comes from engaging in the disciplines that lead to value. Self-esteem comes from engaging in the disciplines that lead to value. We don't lack potential, but to bring value from potential, we need the discipline. Now, one of the major things that makes us not feel good about ourselves is not engaging in the discipline. If you keep letting yourself off the hook, or just ho-humming it and letting it all slide, then you don't feel good about yourself. Best is the ant philosophy. 
right? To feel good about yourself, do your best, gather all you can during the summer. We call that the ant philosophy. Ants don't settle for half, they go for all. All you possibly can, do the best you can. It's the greatest lift of self-esteem is doing the best you can. Okay, so attitude plays such an important part in the five pieces of the life puzzle.